Up to the budget today, there was a lot of talk about what this was going to mean to you and your family and families across the province. Relief for parents who pay for child care was wildly speculated to be a cornerstone of the plan, but like the rest of the budget, even the good news is lean. And if your kids are older than six, it may be non-existent. CTV Stephanie Sherlock reports. It's an effort to keep the family's first agenda front and center. British Columbians at the end of the day do expect their government to abide by uh, the same set of principles that they are obliged to abide by in their home. Appealing to the budget conscious in all of us. And work in partnership with families for the most important investment of all, investing in the future of our children. More specifically, children six and under. The budget converts the former Children's Education Fund into individual $1,200 post-secondary grants. It's only available to BC-born kids whose parents apply after they turn six and before they turn seven. Also, parents of kids under six will receive tax credits up to $660 a year. And the most anticipated news surrounding childcare. Yeah, I think the, the issues with childcare services is both its um, availability and its costs. And it's not clear that every family needs a big subsidy, but they just need a space. The details aren't clear, but an early year strategy will see the government put $76 million into increasing childcare spaces and developing childhood services and early development programs. It will be spread out over three years and critics say that's not a lot. Of course, whenever it comes to children, we want to make sure that we also have uh, quality assurance so that the, the kids are really being taken care of, the people who are most capable of doing so. And so if uh, we were to expand um, childcare services, service is too fast, then it's not clear that that quality is uh, reassured. The budget does little for families with children older than six, which some say alienates more people than it helps. The end goal is to, is to balance the budget and they haven't uh, done it in such a way that they're making sure that the programs that are being um, preserved are, are in the interests of communities and families. And with the most immediate effect, the tax credit, not coming into play for two years, the Liberals may not have focused on enough families to win their votes. Stephanie Sherlock, CTV News, Victoria.